Hi, this is Mr. Baker, um, and today we're going to be doing a little lesson on sound. Um, so here we go. So last lesson, um, you did your lesson on sound, um, and just introduce you to what sound was. Today we're going to be um, looking at how we can see sound, um, kind of. Um, we're going to be looking at how we can use different instruments to actually see sound, and you're going to be then seeing um, what different sounds um, might look like on these different kinds of screens. So we're going to use something called an oscilloscope um, that we can use to actually see what different sounds would be like. So imagine that you've got your um, up-to-date um, MP3 player like this connected to a speaker and it's also connected to this thing here. Now this thing here is a screen that we call an oscilloscope um, and you can see that it's got lots of little boxes on there and all those boxes, and there's some on the x-axis that are going along, some on the y-axis that are going up, and then you can see this curve on here, uh, which is kind of marking out a graph, and this is basically um, the sound that is coming from your um, MP3 player here, which is playing on your speaker, and um, it's just a visualisation of that. So watch this little clip, um, and then we'll carry on looking at how we can see sound. Take a look at this. It's our musical sound wave vibration display of science. This is an electronic keyboard. And this is a piano. So that was Bill telling us all about waves um, and he talked about different types of sounds that we could make. So if you look at these two different types of sounds that we've got here, um, this wave here would show us a high frequency note, a high pitch note. Um, this note here would be a low frequency note and you can see the difference. Basically here there are more of the waves and here there are less of the waves. So there are more waves every second here, so it's got a higher frequency, higher pitch note. We've got less waves every second, so we've got a low frequency, low pitch note. But it's just the length of the wave. There's nothing to do with the height of the wave at this point that tells us anything about the, the pitch or the frequency. And if you looked at it on an actual oscilloscope screen, um, then this is what you would see. So a low pitch note would be one where you'd have here so many waves along the x-axis, along um, the time, along the bottom. A high pitch note, you can see there's more waves every second. So it's this, um, along the x-axis, is telling us um, how often um, or how much time it takes for one wave. Um, and that's what the frequency is. How many times we can have one wave in every second tells us what the frequency is, which is what the pitch is.
Okay, and then the other difference is to do with how loud something is. So you can see again, this here we've got two waves that are the same amount of waves every second. So we've got two full waves here in both of these diagrams. But here we've got one that's got a large amplitude. And what we mean by the amplitude is from the middle to the top. That's the amplitude. And you can see that that's quite big. Whereas if I went from the middle to the top of this wave, then that would be smaller. So that would be a quiet wave. So this is a loud wave, large amplitude, and this is a quiet wave, which has got a small amplitude. Okay, so looking again on the oscilloscope screen, you can see the difference again. This is a quiet sound. The amplitude from the middle to the top is that many squares. What's that? One and a bit, maybe just one, just over one and a half. And here we've got a loud sound which is about three squares. So the the Y scale here, or the Y gain is what we call it, is three squares, whereas here it's only just under two. So this would be quiet and this would be loud. Okay, so have a look at these wave traces here and let's see if we can answer these questions. So which trace on here represents the loudest sound? And which trace here represents the sound with the highest pitch? Just have a little think and you can pause it if you want and then I'll show you the answer in a second. Okay, so here sound A has got the largest amplitude from the middle to the top, the tallest, so it's the loudest. Whereas here sound B has got the greater number of waves on the screen and so it's got the highest frequency, the highest pitch. Okay, so this is what we're trying to get to. So have a little look at this and see if you can um, do all of the things that we've got here. And that's it for seeing sound. Thank you.